Slayers. I'm the world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64. And what I have here is huge. Okay, huge in the land of Sega Slayer 64. Now, I know today's video was supposed to be Sega Slayer complains, but today's video is just the, what I have here is just too huge to have Sega Slayer complains today. I got Sega Saturn emulation up and running. It took a while. It really did. I couldn't get it to work. I tried this once before, and I really did try this once before a while ago, and I never got it up and running. I got it up and running, okay? And what a, what game we have here is Daytona USA, obviously. And I'll go ahead and just open it up real fast. This will will open it up. And I hope I fix... The aspect ratio likes to act really weird in how it works. It really does. It acts very strange, right? But assuming it works, assuming it works somewhat, okay, this video will have been all worth it. I don't care how the video looks. As long as you could tell this is Daytona, uh, I'm good, okay? And I'm going to turn the volume up here a little bit. I personally can't hear it. You guys probably can. I, I'm going to turn it up for myself a little bit. But I, it seems to run at a stable frame rate. I can't bring up the frame, the frame rate menu because doing such, doing such a thing would add, obviously would probably kill, I'm not even gonna lie, doing that would kill the video immediately because it would stop recording, but it's here. It works, okay? You can see it running. Now, my controller is supposed to be working. Why it's not working, I don't know. So, uh, every time it doesn't work, what I have to do is, like, close. Uh, every time you want to exit, you have to close and then get back on and then, you know, fix it that way. I don't know why my controller's not working, but... I, 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 you know, I'm in personal amazement that I got this running myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it just, it would not work for anything. I don't know why it wouldn't work for anything. I don't know how it wouldn't work for anything. And you have to personally map your own controls, which is very, like, terrible. But you got to, so I'll go ahead and try and map them real quick. And you could use this as somewhat of a tutorial on how you would personally map your own stuff. You know what I'm saying? I map mine in the vein of how I map my Genesis controls, just because, you know what I'm saying? Controls are a very weird thing in that they're fitted to each person's personal play style. And, you know, personally me, I'm playing, and then it also has to factor in what controller you're playing with. And personally, I'm playing with a um, Xbox One controller, Creeper Edition, you know what I'm saying? Just because you didn't really need to know that, but you, you know now, okay? So that's essentially what I'm playing with, okay? And I, you have to get things up and running to your own personal pace, you know what I'm saying? Games take a few minutes to start. I don't even have a BIOS installed yet. I might get that up and running. I still have to work on the aspect ratio, and that'll be something I try and fix when I'm not playing. As you can see, it's stretched right now. I need to find the perfect uh, resolution working for me, right? But right now, like, I, 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 I'm still in amazement that I have this even up and running. So we'll just go with, we'll go the beginner course real fast. I, I'm in, I'm in advance. I'm in just, like I said, I'm in amazement. I haven't had this up and running, but I have it. And we're, and we're, we're about to get in. We're about to do a self race. This isn't a review of the Saturn version or anything. This is still like just me trying to get this up and running. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I can have auto drive on. I don't want auto drive on, but I, 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 I just, I'm still like in amazement. Now, I, obviously, my time, I have a, I have a Saturn mode, so I don't think the time limit is actually going right now. I don't think I have to collect time, but, like, still, like, look at this. This is the Sega Saturn, like, straight up working on my thing. It works completely on my computer, just fine. Some other people report Saturn emulation is terrible, and it's still not perfect. In fact, it took me so long, I don't know if I can leave a link to the emulator in the description, it took me so long to even get this emulator, and there's probably, if you know of any better emulators and more modern, easy emulators out there, let me know. I'm going to try and personally find them myself, but in the event I don't, and I actually get this one up and running cooperatively, and I get it fixed, expect Saturn videos soon, okay? Because the Saturn is my favorite console of all time, personally, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, she's my mascot. Obviously, you should know. The Sega Saturn is Sega Slayer's favorite console of all time. You know what I'm saying? Just because of the fact there's so much mystery shrouded in it. And I personally love a good mystery. 
when it comes to like I love how everything is so mysterious about the Saturn it, it, not much is known like a lot is known but not much is known and just the fact that it was Sega's biggest blunder in the way and there's such there's a never-ending array of good titles to play on the Sega Saturn you got your your Panzer Dragoons your your Daytonas and your and your uh, Sonic <laughs> Sonic R's and whatever else you have, you know what I'm saying? There's just a not there's never a shortage of good things to play on the um, Sega Saturn. And now that I have the emulation up and running, we can finally now we have a complete Sega catalog of games we can do from modern titles on the from titles from modern up to date titles like Puyo Puyo versus Tetris 2, Yakuza titles and other things like that. Going back to Xbox 360 era titles, also doing the PC versions of them. You know what I'm saying? To being able to do PS2, GameCube, original Xbox, Sega titles. From being able to emulate Sega's complete arcade catalog. From being able to do the Dreamcast. Being able to do the Genesis, Game Gear, 32X, Master System, SG-1000, and whatever else, to now officially be- Oh wait, to also being able to do Sega's complete arcade collection, ca collection, slash catalogs, to now officially being able to do Sega Saturn titles is huge. Like, this is huge to me. It may not be huge to all you guys, but the fact that this is working 60 FPS just fine goes to show you how far Saturn emulation has come. You know what I'm saying? While yes, it's still like while yes, it's still not perfect. It's still certain like I said, this emulation this emulator is weird. The screen is cropped, obviously. I have to get that worked out. You know what I'm saying? I have to get that worked out. But it works. And that alone is just We're just gonna try. We'll just be T. Oh, dude, I love the name entry screen on Daytona USA, the music. But, my God, the fact that we have this up and running is just killer. You know what I'm saying? And I'll do one more course for you guys. This video isn't going to be that long. It doesn't need to be that long. Like I said, today was supposed to be Sega Slayer Complains. And I'll go ahead and do Sega Slayer Complains tomorrow because Sega Slayer Complains really isn't that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I really, like I said, I had... To look at this okay i had to look at this and i had to just like gush over it because i've been trying to get this up and running for so long and one day like i said one day i'll start giving these games full on reviews like they told usa here i'll give it a full on review but just the fact that i have it up and running even and i have it up and running with the music just goes to show you how good the power of a computer can be when it comes to playing these games and man i kind of feel bad for the saturn port because i've had my fair share of experience with it but i haven't played it played it that much and compared to the arcade edition man you can see the cars are all pixelated from far away and uh, i mean it just doesn't look as good as like it could have looked if sega would have put a little bit more time into it but it's still a fun a fantastic game we're not gonna we're not gonna sit here and die and doubt it and say it's not a fantastic game it's a fantastic game that I suck at. But it's a fantastic game, okay? Nonetheless, why did I go the wrong way? <laughs> it's a fantastic game, okay? It's one of my favorite games of all time. In fact, in a lot of cases, it ranks as my second favorite game of all time. I'm always alternating between this and Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Uh, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, the original. I'm always alternating, but this is still, like, always my second or third favorite game of all time. I love it. I love the music and I love everything about it and just the fact that I'm able to play this on my PC is awesome up and running now in case you're wondering uh, well Sega Slayer what type of PC do you have I have a what's called a Skytech Archangel it has a GTX 1050 Ti graphics card uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and I think I want to say Horizon 5 but don't quote me on that because that's just what I saw. I haven't paid too much attention to my CPU. I should really give it another try. And if so, I'll probably put a little voice clip at the end saying what CPU I have. But the, the, the fact remains, I have an, a pretty, at least for today's standards, decent PC. I'm able to run most titles at at least... 60 FPS, most of them getting up to hundreds. Most of them getting up to the hundreds, hundreds and fifties, and 
things like that. So the point being, I'm able to run titles decently, you know what I'm saying? So you could say that's why Sega Saturn might be running well on my PC and it might run ultimately terrible on others but for the, from what i'm hearing saturn is getting more and more better at running on lower end hardware at least on pc front on the on the on the phone front yeah oh, it's still doing terrible and the yeah yeah but Shiro Saturn emulator. I don't know how to say the name, okay? The Saturn emulation on phone isn't, to me, it doesn't seem to be progressing that much. I mean, the app, the app gets updated frequently, but I just haven't heard any big strides like I have in the PC emulation. So, no. Personally, I think the old myth of the Saturn being impossible to emulate is dying out very fast, okay? It's dying out. It's still, I'm not going to say it's still true, because like I said, here... Even even back then, what were considered high-end PCs back then couldn't even emulate Sega Saturn emulation. Mid-range PCs today can destroy Saturn emulation, and even lower end P lower PCs lower end PCs can get 60 FPS with a few setting changes. So essentially, what I'm telling you is check out your computer. You know what I'm saying? Do your research. See if it works for you, like, just to have this up and running, and we'll finish this last rap since we're almost done with it. Lap, I should say. Why am I drifting all over? <laughs> just to have this up and running and actually working is just a sight to see, you know what I'm saying? And, and I love every second of it. These, the game on, this game is beautiful, you know what I'm saying? We'll look at some more. And somebody requested uh, Sonic Jam. We'll be looking at that at some point, you know what I'm saying? Expect a lot more Saturn games, essentially. But do me a favor, okay? If you're if you're out there and you're knowledgeable on this sort of thing, which I like to consider myself pretty knowledgeable on emulation. You know, I've been in the emulation game for a while, you know what I'm saying? For an, a, a nice little minute, okay? I've been in the emulation. You know what I'm saying? I love emulation. I believe it. I love it. It's the future of retro gaming. Whether anyone wants to believe it or not. Because the fact is, and this is a sad fact... The fact is, no matter how hard you try and keep your hardware clean, safe, and protected, one day th that hardware will start to die out. Let's take a look at Game Boys. Game Boys, the original Game Boys at least, you can replace the screens, but which is fine, you know what I'm saying? You can replace the screens, because the screens have been dying on them pretty bad, and you can just replace the screens. <laughs> but the, most of the public doesn't know how to do such a thing, and also... The more and more you replace parts on an old thing makes it less and less of an old system, if I'm being honest. You know what I'm saying? The more you replace parts on something, the less it becomes a retro system and the more it just becomes a modern a modern shell of its former self. And yeah, I'll place 29th, whatever. Okay, I don't care. But you're, you're starting to understand my point. The more you... The more you try to replace parts on something take the original xbox capacitors blow up in there take the game gear capacitors are blowing up sometimes these systems suffer irreparable damage okay irreparable i don't know you know what i mean and sometimes they suffer like unrepairable damage and when that system suffers unrepairable damage it's done and i'm not just talking about sega systems this is also something that happens on a lot of other systems you know what i'm saying and companies aren't fixing these systems no more, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I believe emulation and also mini consoles are the future of these titles, are, are the future of retro gaming, whether we like it or not, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like how they like to tell us digital, digital gaming is the future, cloud gaming is the future, and personally, I'm not excited for that future, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I might go full-on quitting modern gaming. <laughs> Personally, if, if if cloud gaming ever truly does become the future, because I, I I just I don't like it. I'm already not liking the way companies are trying to transition to all digital. I prefer all physical. But again, that's a debate for Sega Slayer complaints. Not this video. This video is just here to let you know I have Saturn games up and running. Go down in the comments. Tell me what you tell me if you know any better Saturn emulators out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try and play around with the set, the settings of this one to get them looking a little bit better and playing a little bit better. But the fact remains, if you if you know any better titles out there for me to play, I mean, if you know any better emulators out there, more modern emulators, because this one apparently is really old, like really old, and I, 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 you know, personally, I don't like it, you know what I'm saying? 
the way it works, it works a little bit glitchy, and I prefer to have a little bit more stable of an emulator. It works fine, but I just prefer to have a bit of a more stable emulator. So if you know anything down in the comments below, also, do we talk about the huge upgrade from characters from um, Virtual Racing to Daytona USA? I'm mean, gonna just look at them. But no, if you know any more uh, modern slash better updated emulators, because from what I hear, this emulator right here is from uh, is a recreation of a really old emulator, and it's based off 2007 emulation, which is not too good. You know what I'm saying? The monitor, it, it really looks terrible on my monitor. The way I'm trying to, I'll try and fix the resolution up. But if you know any modern emulators, please feel free to link them in the description in the comment section. I'll be happy for that. If you want any Saturn games recommended, go ahead and recommend them down in the comments below. Except besides two games, they don't recommend Daytona USA and don't recommend Sonic Jam. Um, those are the two first ever Saturn videos I'm gonna make, and I'm probably gonna make them back to back next week. Next week, I probably will be making those videos. I can't say when next week, but I will be making them next week. So don't even bother um, leaving your suggestions for those two down below, okay? But any of your other games, leave your suggestions down below. That being said, I've been the world's coolest second enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64. If you're new here, wait, hold on, I, wait, hold on, let me restart that. If you're new here, if you could subscribe, that'll be really awesome. We're trying to reach... 300 subscribers yeah yeah it's gonna it's gonna get a little it's gonna get a it's gonna be a little challenge trying to say that okay we're trying to reach 300 subscribers and <laughs> make sure to share this video with your friends to become a super slayer i've been the what's cool sega enthusiast sega slayer 64 and until next time have a good one slayers